Hi, this is Patrick with E38. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an RS2 as a network rover. If you haven't yet flashed the latest firmware under your RS2, please see our other video tutorial on using the Reach firmware flash tool to get you started on the right foot. To receive our in-trip corrections over Bluetooth, our data collector will need to have internet access. I'm going to connect my phone's hotspot to accomplish that, however you could also use a cell-enabled data collector or a SIM installed in your RS2 itself. For simplicity, we're not going to cover that in this video. We're now going to connect to our receiver and select N-TRIP over Bluetooth for our correction input. We then will select the network we'd like to receive our corrections from. If this is your first time using an N-TRIP network, you'll need to add it and input your credentials for it. Now that that's done, I'm going to turn off my base output to avoid any confusion later on. However, this step is optional. As you can see in the top right corner, I've began receiving corrections and that float should change to a fix shortly. Now that we have our fix, we can begin collecting points. Once we select the add icon, we will be given options for naming our point, as well as settings for our pole height and averaging of our point. First we'll double check to make sure our pole height is correct, then we can save our point. However, to collect more ac accurate data, we can average out our point by selecting the gear icon to get into our survey settings, and we can select how long we would like to average each point. By default, our RS2 will average at a rate of 5 Hz, meaning every second it will collect five points that the receiver sees in that second. So at five seconds we'll be averaging 25 points. Now that we know we can collect points in MLID flow, I'll show you the slight change we'll need to do to use our network rover with third-party data collectors. First we'll change our correction input to Bluetooth. This will allow us to configure our N-TRIP network like normal inside of our third-party app. Then in settings we'll make sure our Bluetooth discoverability is on so our third-party app can connect with our receiver. And there you have it. If you like this video and you want to see more videos like it, or on any of the other products we offer at E38, please leave us a comment on what you'd like to see. I'm Patrick with E38 Survey Solutions. Thanks for watching.